Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to create your own swish pan effects from scratch. I'm going to be using Adobe Premiere Pro. I know that a lot of people don't actually use Premiere Pro, but don't worry because as long as you can make an adjustment layer and you have the effects that I'm going to be using, then you can follow this tutorial quite easily. So for those people who don't know what a swish pan effect is, it's basically just this. It just kind of swishes to the side, whichever direction you're wanting to go. You might be thinking, what is the point of this? Well, sometimes you see this in a montage clip where it's leading up to a kill. There'll be some music behind it and on every beat that it hits, it will have this kind of effect. You play it in real time. So it doesn't really go with just the game sound. It's a very quick effect that you have, um, but it's quite effective when done correctly. And I'm just gonna show you how to create it. So I've got a few here. Um, it's just in every single direction. So we have, first off we go right, left this is quite a very common effect that people do in montages and if you can imagine like a beat behind this like a music beat then you'd be able to see this is quite effective so to create the effect first off we want to come down here to the left create a new item and we want to make a new adjustment layer now leave the width and the height as it is it should already be set to what your clip is um, you'll change your fps to whatever you're using if you're using 30 or 60 whatever you're using i'm just going to change mine to 24 click ok and we can come and drag this in. So we want this to be about 10 frames. Um, you can make it longer if you want, but just as a starter, we want to make it 10 frames long. So we come into the very first frame. We're gonna hold down shift and click on the right arrow key twice. One, two. And that goes forward five frames each time. So that's 10 frames in total. So that's a 10 frame long clip. So we're gonna just come and drag this over our pre-made effect. First of all we're just going to add in all the effects and then we'll go through the effects and edit them all to make it look right. So first of all we need an offset, we then need a mirror, uh, we need a directional blur and then the final one is we need a brightness and contrast. So it's four effects in total, just to go over that again we have Offset, mirror, directional blur, and brightness and contrast. So starting with the offset, we want to come to the very beginning of our clip on the very first frame. So you want to click on the stopwatch so it adds a keyframe at the beginning. Then you want to come to the second to end frame, so not the very very end here, but one before it. And then depending on the direction you want to go, you want to change these. So this one goes right to left, and this one goes up and down. So we're going to be creating a right effect, so it's going to go to the right. So we're going to be changing this one. So we're going to be taking this to the right and we're just going to change it so we're at the point where it basically looks the same but if we go back it just slides to the right just like that. Now that's all you need to do for the offset. With the mirror we leave this completely alone. Um, I mean you can mess with it if you want. There are some kind of interesting things you can do with it um, but no we, we just leave this completely alone. So with the directional blur we have the direction and the blur length. The direction obviously depends on the direction you're going, so we're going to the right, so that means we need to change this to 90 degrees. You won't see a difference because we haven't added a blur length on yet. We want to come to the beginning of our clip, click on the little stopwatch for the blur length, come to the middle, click on this little marker or keyframe, then go to the end, add another keyframe, then we come back to the middle and we want to put it to 200. It looks really nice now, gives it a nice little transition. Um, just to show you, uh, if you went for a different direction, so 180, which would be completely straight up, you can now see it gives it a bit of a weird effect. It doesn't look very good, so you need to put it in the same direction as your offset, so to the right. Then last but not least, we want to do the brightness and contrast. So we're not going to mess with the contrast, just the brightness, and we want to do the same thing we did for the directional blur, create a, um, create a keyframe at the beginning, keyframe in the middle and then a keyframe at the end. Oh. There we go. And the one in the middle, we just want to change this to 20. And then there we go, we're all done. And this is what we've uh, what we've created. And it goes by very fast, you don't even notice it. But you can make this longer if you want to. Um, I also would suggest on the offset to move this uh, keyframe just to the end just so it looks a bit better and you don't have a little second or one frame of it looking a bit weird you won't notice it but um 
but yeah it just looks a bit better so obviously we've gone right and if you're trying to make the left version of it all you need to do is press alt click and drag this along this will then copy it all you need to do now is change the offset and the directional blur so now we're going to the left we can come to shift center 2 we want to go to our second frame and we want to press on the reset so this went to minus 700 it was something like that um, so we're just going to change this to plus about 2000 it doesn't have to be 2082 it's just that looking at the screen uh, we basically moved from what it looked like normal gone straight over to what it looks like the same but obviously it moves um, and then we're just going to come ahead click on this little keyframe delete that drag that over then it's normal again um, but now we need to change the direction of the blur so instead of it being 90 it's now going to be 270 so now you have a right left it looks a lot better now so if we just play that back now so that looks really good um, you probably have it a little bit further away but yeah that's how you do it it's a very nice effect, a very easy effect to do, and it definitely makes your montages look much cleaner. And once again, you can also do this for, say you want to cut right here. These are two different clips. You put it right in the middle here. You put this, uh, let's take the clipping off, put it right in the middle. And it's a nice little transition. So yeah, that's how you make a swish pan effect from scratch. I hope this was helpful and I hope you learned something. Hopefully now you can make this effect for yourself, add it into your own montages or whatever videos you're using, or even using it as a transition, whatever you, uh, wherever you think this effect would work best. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like and subscribe and definitely hit that notification bell because I'll be coming out with more tutorial videos on montage effects and also my own montages. So, so definitely look out for that and I hope you have a good day. See ya.